Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Generation Unfiltered. I mean your host Timulu and I'm not alone. I'm here with Moinyo Lua. how are you doing today? I'm fine and you did not do that introduction well. I uh-uh. remain Moin, your favorite Gen Z buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so um we have beautiful ladies in the house today. I mean ah Jesus we have got a great too. <laughs> hey <laughs> to my left I have Mudisiri. And Popularly to my known right, as this year. I have Isha Layomi. <laughs> this year, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How That's are you? That's good. I can see that. I'm very well. Thank you very much. So, um, in a minute, can you just tell us what you do, your craft, and something about you? Okay. Um, my name is this and I'm a creative writer. I write mm-hmm. every and anything that comes my way. And yeah, I think that's about it. And Isha? My name is Aisha, popular known as Isha. I am a student communicator, I am a nail tech, Ooh. and I I do things. I'm an entrepreneur. Nail techs, okay. something like this, yeah? Yes. Oh, yes, that's nice. true. Okay, I'm not supposed yes. to. <laughs> yes. All right, that's nice. So um, today we'll be dissecting a very important and interesting topic. Um, So many people do not pay attention to this because of probably they do not fall into this line or because they don't have that kind of relationship with their lecturers so we're talking about building and breaking barriers with our lecturers trying to build interpersonal relationships with your lecturer so um dc ray do you or have you at any point in time had any kind of relationship with your lecturers no i i honestly try to avoid them why i I don't know i feel like the power dynamic is just too great for me it's i feel like just being in a room with someone that has so much control over my grades my grades matter so much to me so i try to just stay out of their way i do what i need to do and make sure that we don't have one-on-one interactions but you know it, it's it's actually can be to your your advantage, advantage when you know a lecturer i mean in the in the in the from the angle of probably you were mismarked or mm-hmm. you were not rightly marked in a, in a course or mm-hmm. you feel the course I mean, God do not lie, that happened to us, though. But, yeah. I mean, if you were in that kind of situation and you had a lecturer that you're very close to, you can easily walk up to that lecturer. I am a living example of that kind of situation. Okay. So, I mean, during a particular point in my life, I I, I happened to have gotten a lower mark in a course that I was very sure I did well in. Right. And because I had a like strong relationship with the lecturer, that helped me to correct the course. I mean, if I had not had that um, relationship because i've just gone like that and so that yeah. affected my grades and nobody will listen to you when you complain because you did not actually take that step in correcting it so you know to an advantage it's actually very good um isha have you had any mm-hmm. kind of relationship with your lecturers before as she said actually same as me i avoid my lecturers a lot because hmm. i honestly don't want to be in a space with somebody that has control over my right. grades because uh, it's just weird to me trying to i to, personally i see people who talk to lecturers as i don't know even if i have issues concerning a course or anything isn't that why i have a um, no, rep. Course rep so i feel like i just walk up to my course rep like ah hello hello ah, something okay. but you know there are For times me, that actually walking up to a lecturer myself mm-hmm. is something i know the multiple times a lot of lecturers see, see me in class and be like uh, is this your first time in my class? Are you just coming here? Uh, uh, how come you're in this class? And I'm like, bro, please, I beg. Uh, <laughs> so, like, if, <laughs> if I may ask, in your school, I'm very sure you guys have opened up policy where you, whereby you can approach lecturers and give them feedback mechanism on how you, like, your grade or so, probably, like, if you have questions about the class. That's why, that's why we have Questions. HOCs. That's why we have head of classes. Actually, you know, so okay. that's you why know, we have... Let me tell you something. Lecturers themselves come on groups and say, you guys should not text me. If you want you want to text me, text me right. If you know you want to do this, and, do that. Okay, because so that's that, one thing about to, communication. Okay. Okay. Yes, that's one thing about communication. That's the, that is what we're actually treating here. Okay, having good communication tactics and everything. Yeah. Okay. I want to go to my lecturer to complain about a cross. And of course, I want to be as respectful as I can. Exactly. Just to not be on his bad side or anything. Right. But even if, even though gone, even if I want to go and meet him, I will talk to the uh, cost rep first. Please, let me talk to him. Because obviously, I feel like when you start creating relationships like this with these lecturers, 
ah, you know what I'm talking about now. It is not a new thing. I went to see my supervisor sorry, the sorry, other sorry, day. Sorry, 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 sorry. Some people do not know. Some people do not know what this <laughs> thing is. So let us, you understand? Let us. Which which thing? Let's delve into it. Especially if you are someone with charisma, like okay. someone who actually get attention. Oh, I'm a bigger person, yeah. And I know that when I speak, people listen. Like it's so. Wait, 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 wait. You're talking about tick, um, mm. that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So is this just based on just the male lecturers, or you're talking about female and male? See, let me tell you something. Half the time, a lot okay. of even a lot of female lecturers have this thing in them, like um, Tanya. What can yes, you do? Yes, you know. I am a lecturer and I can do okay. from the female. So how you have this case of whereby you give students um questions for their exam and then. Mm-hmm. A student is writing to you, like gives you back a blank sheet of paper, and is telling you this course cannot buy me a Bugatti. Hmm. Like, how do you expect that kind of lecturer to feel towards students? Okay, honestly, if you are uh, in the uh, position uh, of an educator, Mm -hmm. right, you have to understand that like you are meeting so many different children from so many different backgrounds. You can't control the child. The child is paying their fees. If the child chooses not to write the exam, the child did not write his name. You you can't wield the power you have in that position over that child in that instance it's not you can do it okay let me say you cannot do it you shouldn't do it you you shouldn't be doing it like it's not Uh, it's not ethical but like in nigeria you obviously can i feel like sure you you might hate the students note the metric number of course you you want to see what the person does with your life but it shouldn't be a thing where you know so so i I, I really want us to dissect and, this okay. topic very okay. well to the very last okay so you know in as much as there might be lecturers that are very strict mm-hmm. or harsh and the like mm-hmm. there will still be some ah, yes. that are approachable you know yeah. you know it's just like in this life there are people that are not approachable and yeah. there are people that are approachable now mm-hmm. let's let's bring it to the lecturer perspective okay. now there are lecturers that might still be approachable so why is it that students still find it hard Do you know to walk up to their lecturers i'm not afraid of any lecturer okay hmm. there's nobody on us that will stand in front of me and i will not be able to have a conversation with mm-hmm. that is not the problem the problem is where they start to seek me out after that conversation mm. which will definitely happen either because maybe i'm always wearing eyeliner and they've noticed and they're like oh that's your cat eyes where's that girl with cat eyes that's always in the class you know mm-hmm. that type of thing something that makes them single me out anything that singles me out in a pool of over 200 students there's a problem is concerning i don't want it true especially when it's not in terms of academic exploits especially when it's in terms of maybe me having a problem or be, me being outspoken or me just generally asking like it's just it's just it's not a nice experience to mm-hmm. have even if nothing is going on between me and the lecturer the students the other students would be like oh like he's always looking for something this to say yes he's her. always looking for this theory. he's always yeah. this, this, this. and some might interpret it as something exactly else. and the stigma that comes with that like right. nobody wants that mm-hmm. nobody wants to have that experience mm-hmm. That's 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 a very nice angle thank you um okay so i also want us to delve into another realm of this conversation okay. so how do you think lecturers can communicate with their students to make them Better. open to like walk up to them because it's it's mm-hmm. it's really it's it's a really bad situation when the lecturer just teaches and goes to his office and i mean he's just all moody and students cannot approach yeah. him i mean there are some lecturers that i like went through them in my secondary le- school level yeah. and till date we still talk very very well i mean how do you think lecturers can bridge this gap of of hostility between lecturers mm-hmm. and um students um I, I think um a way a lecturer can actually make students comfortable with them is probably in class you know some lecturers are very hostile and very weird in class some mm-hmm. might not even speak loud some might not even care about if you understand or not but a lecturer that that calms down or probably try to make everybody understand even shut some people out send some people out so uh, so that others that are serious will learn something mm. it creates an avenue for others to actually come to him like okay i'm very comfortable with this person his classes are very interesting sometimes mm. some lecturers um i have friends that say okay when a lecturer is in class and everything just as saying is the life story <laughs> even if it gets boring it creates an avenue for them to communicate right. so that alone it's it's very uh, it's a very good way of trying to create a 
good bond between a lecturer and, and a student. Yes, I agree. I, I, I agree be, with you. It doesn't have to be a close relationship, mm-hmm. but the fact that they are comfortable in your class and the comfortability is not about them joking or them playing in the class. Yeah. It's about them trying to listen, wanting to know. So I think mm-hmm. that alone can help. Yeah. And and fun. according to what you just said, I could also even bring out the fact that. When when he said sending some kind of students out, this now even means that as a lecturer you should not generalize. I mean, if one student messes up in the class, do now put it on the other ones that want to learn. You yeah. don't. You, it's 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 really unfair when a lecturer just sing, singles out one person's mistake and mm. generalizes it on the rest that like want to I learn. Said, yeah. Create an avenue and a space for them to be comfortable. Right. Yeah. There's yeah. no how a lecturer who is very hostile or very weird says, uh, "Who is there?" Everybody on that road should stand up. Are you trying to create a good communication with your students? Okay, so oh, no. in as much as we want um, our lecturers to get comfortable with us, mm-hmm. that we can even like have open-minded questions with them mm-hmm. and also like you also students also need to know that they need to show respect to this lecturer. Some I students like there are boundaries. Yes, there are boundaries to this thing, but we will get to that okay. and let's go on a short break. <laughs> My name is Anta Ladino. Have you heard the news? ICTV. When it comes to media related matters, celebrity matters, watch ICTV on all social media at official ICTV. You will enjoy yourself. Introducing Night Sport Studios, your one-stop destination for all things music production, podcasting, and live band recording. At Night Sport Studios, we're passionate about turning your creative dreams into reality. Step into our state-of-the-art facility where the magic happens. Our team of experienced music producers are dedicated to helping you craft your perfect sound. From tracking to mixing. We've got you covered. Podcasting is on the rise and we're here to support your voice. Our soundproof podcast studios are equipped with top-notch equipment ensuring your message is crystal clear. And we're back. Thank you for staying with us. It's still Generation Unfiltered. Okay, so guys, um, we've dissected that aspect of lecturers fostering a communication um, atmosphere between they and their students. Yeah. So now let's even talk about students. You know, there are times that students actually do some things that as... Okay, even as another student, when you, when you calm down and think about it, you feel like what the lecturer did is even small compared to what you would have done if you were in the lecturer's shoes. So what do you have to say about students that actually... Um, make lecturers take some certain decisions like i said earlier if i was the one a student wrote this <laughs> course cannot <laughs> buy me a bugatti oh my days i'm even walk up to my other lecturers i beg see this magic number when you graduate mm. uh, honestly because okay. me i am very temperamental uh, please uh. so don't come to me Honestly, that's why I don't even pass my boundary with these lecturers. I don't want their problem. And sometimes you say, oh, lecturer will say, Koni pass out, Koni chade, kid won't know she. What did you do? Yeah. Right. That's Because so you, you might have to have done lecturer. something okay. that will make the lecturer contrary, react in that kind of way. Contrary to her, oh. as somebody, okay, it's very hard to get me to react. And I think that's because I understand that, oh, people are coming from different backgrounds, different places. We don't all have the same life experiences. Where me, my father does not shout at me. There are some people that they shout at them every day. They don't shout at me, so I don't shout at anybody. That type of thing. So I feel like in that type of situation, I would have to take a step. That's why I keep saying like professions that involve caring and educating require a lot of patience. If you don't have the patience, please do not go into it. Because there are some people that you don't know who you don't know whose daddy is who. What if they find you and then they I don't know. 
What I don't know. It's just find me. You know, you know, find me. Yes. You know? Why did their son or daughter write to my cousin? Okay. 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 Let's be very practical. Just, Everything now. Okay. Let's do a self um, assessment. Okay. Everything now boils down to you personally. Okay. Self assessment. Mm-hmm. How would you react if this kind of thing was done to you? That's one. Two. Being a lecturer, you should be able to calm your nerves. You should yes. not be temperamental. Mm-hmm. Nothing will justify the fact that you hit a student, you beat Thank a student, you. or you fail a student. It but is not wrong. Nothing yes. justifies it's, it's, it's that like fact. Because, because it's, just exactly. like, it's just like you have the upper hand, and then you're it, taking you're, it out exactly, of that person. And you're using it. It's Same just, way it's your father does not mean you can do this to a lecturer it's let's, we we no, need we need we need um, to we need to be let, let, we need to wait. okay okay let, let me let me hear what you have say you said something about um um you eating it student mm-hmm. can you come you have to calm down guy if a student walks up to me and slaps me guy why okay that that okay, is no, realistic. now now even at that okay even at that the reason why i said that was we were t- actually talking about um students that behave immaturely mm-hmm. to s- lecturers here. Yeah. If you are behaving like a, like somebody is doing a call, that's just the thing. Okay. No, 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 okay, no, no, no. okay what but the Sorry, okay. sorry, 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 sorry. sorry to cut you are shots. taking it from your angle. Yes, actually. Now, personally, okay, now it is it is from different perspectives. Personally, if a student if a student slaps you, wait, 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 wait. if a student yeah. walks up to me God. and slaps me, that, I am I am expected wait. God. I am expected had, and personally I had, wait, like, sorry, sorry. Okay. Personally, I'm meant to be reasonable. This student will go through the right measures. I do not even have to retaliate because I am elderly. I do not have to retaliate. It doesn't make sense if I'm now exchanging slaps Simone or blows Riley. with a lecturer. Simone with, I'm sorry, Riley. with a student. You just yeah. make him face okay, the wait. appropriate channel. Let's and okay, in, in, wait, sorry, wait, sorry, wait, sorry. Oh, in the Calm school down, handouts, down. in the school handouts, when a student does that kind of thing, it is the either measures. expulsion mm-hmm. or suspension. And I even feel it, um, a, a expulsion would would be a better measure to serve that kind of thing. I don't have to I react. Have if I react, something else might happen. Too. It could even be it could be an asthma. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now you react and then the student dies. What do you, what do you have what to say about so no, me, no, so no, we no, have no, to analyze no, it from no, different angles. No, 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 Certain oh certain Lord. certain situations require different reactions. reactions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And as a logical person that I am, oh. I have to be reasonable. I have to okay. I have to access the situation. If I just react, <laughs> anything will come after me. It might not even be me that will suffer. It might be my children or posterity. And I won't want to put them in that kind of situation because when I'm gone, when I am gone, they have to live a, a very good life. So I have to be cautious of my actions because my actions might tell on other people i also want to add a little bit to that you said as a logical person even as an emotional person Mm -hmm. you 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 just you think about you give yourself you would be like okay i don't know if i actually slap this child and then something goes wrong with the child like what happens you you Feel your emotions. Nobody's telling you not to be angry. Be angry. Call yes. anybody you can call. Call their daddies. Ah, call, 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 call the BC. Yeah. Call everybody you have ah. access to call. Hmm. If you like, misplace the paper. Let the child write. But retaliating... Me, I may not slap the child. Retaliating in the moment is just That's a very me. harmful, ah. very unserious, very unprofessional, That's very like impulse, risky impulse, thing. Impulse, impulse, yes, very, acting on impulse. Anything can happen on him. You can kill the child. You can... Yeah, impaired we, we each know, other. You can't okay, so wait, see, let's angles. forget the case of retaliation and okay. whatsoever. So how do we intend to foster this relationship and understanding between lecturers and more, students? More. There's, there's many things. More. There's Let many me tell things. You Let me give you an example. I have two type of lecturers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They are both allergies. Mm-hmm. One is very temperamental. In class, she be like, Yes, that's oh, another that, angle that's 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 yes. it's not like it's not like she's a bad person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that kind it's of It's not person. like she's a bad person. But 
she's always and she's very weird that it's not like pay oko je oni nu fufu run you i i was writing an exam one day and the the lecturer that owns the course gong gong was like give them five minutes she was like nebo you in the class me no a ko wa e she kini kon in yen lo and somebody enters her dm to text her or probably somebody decide to enter her dm to text her like okay i my course kini kon kini kon that's one I have another type of lecturer. She she's also temperamental, mm-hmm. but she's logic with it. Alaja lo no, she's logic with it. She comes down and everything. And on the group she she will come online. Nobody should come to my DM to write kinikon. Everybody should you are your I will not reply you. I will not shake kinikon. That is that. That other one that is very temperamental. We say oh buru, you can't enter a DM. It is a no go show you shake. But the other one will still be calm with it. Do you get? Mm-hmm. It depends on the person. There's no how you want to say you want to foster one one conversation or one communication between a student and a mm-hmm. lecturer. Okay, so, so what so, if you have so, issues sorry, in sorry. the future and I'm you have sorry. to like I, meet I, them? I, I would like to use that point you just made to now bring in another angle. Okay. So um, in that kind of situation, you know, we now need to look at our lecturers. There's what there's something called assessment. You access your lecturers. Mm-hmm. This kind of lecturer is temperamental. This is how this person. You can't change anybody. But unfortunately, a that is very unfortunately. Rude. Now, okay, a we're trying to we're trying to look at everything. Care. We're trying to look at it from okay, the from the from the lecturer's perspective. In in this in this conversation, I feel like there's something we haven't brought into play, and that's the age of the lecturers and their perception of respect. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm confident, but I don't think I'm disrespectful, right? Yes, sir. But to many people who are used to everybody just going along, if you tell me to do something, I'll ask you, okay, why is this that, that I have to do it this way? Why not this way? Like, I, I have questions. And in many a case, that has been seen as disrespectful. So what I'm saying is, their definition of respect also adds a particular nuance into this conversation. You have Absolutely. some friends that you know that are very confident, that yeah. can go to anybody and say anything. And then... You have some friends that are more timid and then they'll tell you oh the timid person is more respectful but you've heard rude nasty things coming from the timid so person to me okay. exactly yes. so it's like in that type of situation like how 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 do you define the rudeness do you does being respectful just mean being subservient and taking every instruction as it comes and mm-hmm. answering to every single thing that they tell you and when no, you disagree no, how no, does that no, become no actually because okay. i know somebody who is very confident and yeah. she's very timid yeah she's very confident she walks up to anybody she walks up to any lecturer okay. and she does anything but she's very timid and she can't fight for herself do you get mm-hmm. me as a person i am very confident and people are taking that confidence as disrespectful. Yes. Even my parents will say, Mommy, Oh, ma, I want to share something. <laughs> uh-uh. Oh, wrong. Oh, wrong. So one thing See, I've see, noticed. I, I understand. Yes. I understand what you, what yeah. you mean by uh, being confident. And we have people that are very confident. And, and they are not, they are not, um, they are not rude. And they are not um, disrespectful, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me, I don't know. Uh, I don't know actually, cause me texting a lecturer that I know is in charge of my grades. Ah uh-uh, ah, come on now. We're not of course, generally. Uh, in every sentence, I write sir, ma. That's right. Sir, That's ma. very right. Of course, but some people are very weird to the extent that you just enter. Uh, even 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 personally, you and you. I don't know you from Adam, and you're like hi. Do you expect me to reply I mean, to that I kind of chat? We've had a case. We've on. had a case they're in they're my they're class, they're and they're they're the person was like, idea. "Yes, Let's I don't know you from anywhere." The lecturer's name is Ronke, and the person was like, "Ronke, you've huh. not like you called your lecturer by your first name. Like, don't you have home training?" Did you see this uh, uh, Shafi Bello's thing? No. She was like, somebody walked up to her and was like, "I Shafi." <laughs> she said, <laughs> "Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I Shafi." Hey, me industry, no. Of course, now, we have um, people that, are, that don't see anything wrong with that. And it is actually very disrespectful, actually. You cannot mm. walk up to somebody. If there are two different kind of things. You can say, Shafi. Okay, everybody, I, sh- I call her Shafi. I did Shafi Bello. And if I see her now, I'll say, ah, Shafi Bello. If I want to talk to her, I'll say, ah, did you see Shafi Bello? I sh- cannot say, did you see her? I say, Shafi Bello. Noms. Jiggets. That's but why. then, but then you can call somebody by their name and still respect yes, them. That's what. That's, that's just the that's, thing. That's, 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 that's culturally why. in Nigeria now. 
Everybody is your uncle or your auntie. Oh, mm. Everybody or your is brother and sister. Or, sister or your brother. When I'm meeting my cousin that is a few years old, I say, Uncle Moyo. <laughs> and he looks at me and he's like, I'm not your uncle. And I'm like, your mother your mother would have my neck. Exactly. If I yeah. didn't call you exactly. uncle, right? And I feel like you can refer to someone with their name. Tone matters. Yeah, the language you use matters. Actually. And how you like arrange yes. sentence structure. Exactly. Matters. I feel like it matters a lot. And your yeah. occupation is very, very important. You cannot walk up to a president now and say, Mr. Uh, Tunubu, hi. Even though we call him Tunubu. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you cannot. Let's not, let's not, let's not, not, let's not, let's not go there. No, 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 no. You cannot just say, okay, I'm just saying that you need to have the occupation. Yes. See? I feel like there, there are honorariums that come with like particular it's professions. Official, I guess, right. like, like professors and doctors and yeah, engineers. Yeah. Like, that's why. Up to them and say, so, yeah. guys, sorry, sorry, to sorry, them, sorry. Let me just chip in this. That's why I said you need to know the kind of person you're talking with some people mm-hmm. might be okay with it while some other people might not mm-hmm. be okay with it like if when i was when i was doing like sorry, sorry, sorry 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 as as there's there's something, there's something there's something i have to say respectful. yes you have That's to be respectful yeah, like the rule of thumb how, is to even if you're talking to someone that you are like familiar on very with. nice mm-hmm. yeah familiar levels with mm-hmm. you still need to accord that level yeah, of just like you said matters a lot yes approach to approach with honorifics and until told otherwise you sustain them simple so guys class. let's not forget that there are some lecturers that do follow up on students like yeah. when they yes now no recommendations <laughs> yes and like, yeah. like okay for the fact that i know that this this girl or this guy he answers question i see where you're coming from academically mm-hmm. i i know that oh this is a first class student okay. i know that you're doing well i can obviously give you a recommendation that's mm-hmm. why you have to build relationship with your lecturer a okay. good lecturer <laughs> A Obviously. good person. <laughs> a good person. The I thing is, put that in. I also want. I, 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 I want us to. I want us to also look at something. I say it all the time. Okay. There, it's not every class that I pay attention to. It's not every class that I can tell you that I feel stimulated by when I'm in the class. I have one class that I enjoy at the moment, a chemistry class, and when he's teaching. You can tell that I'm present, and you can tell that he's following with the class. He knows some names, mm. and he's not overly familiar. So he carries everyone yes, along. Yes, he's not mm-hmm. rubbing shoulders. He's looking at it and nodding, pointing out mistakes. He's being gentle with it. Like, I have great respect ah, for him see. as a person. Mm-hmm. Even it's outside the prof- Like, I have res- If I see him on the road and I... I don't know his name. But if I see him on the road, I would absolutely say hi because it's obvious he cares about his students. Mm. Do you get... With that type of person, I wouldn't mind a relationship. As long as... It, it won't extend out of the class, I can tell, because this person has boundaries. This person isn't... You, you, Having like, physical okay. contact. Yeah. So I feel like we should learn to set boundaries yeah. with the lecturers and Definitely. the students and also yeah. foster more relationships because how you have a student, like you, you are happy that, okay, I go to school every day and then there lecturers, they don't know me. Like, I have that can approach me, me yeah. confidently. This is not even about students. It's about... Something that happened to me. We were, uh, I think uh, I'm a mass communicator, yeah? And we had an assignment concerning podcast. I've never done this before. I've never ex- I'm, like I literally know nothing. I was in two hundred level, and I know nothing about this thing, yeah. And I went to the studio, the faculty studio, studio rather. I went to meet a uh, uh, one man there. We were I went with my friends, like seven. We got there. They did their first. They came. Uh, they came. Oh, uh, the man would say, "Calm down, relax. Do, do this, it this way. Do, do it like this. this way. Yeah." They reached my turn. I can't enter. As I talk, 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 ah, feeling myself. Yes, I'm a communicator. <laughs> call, call. I came out. I said, ah, sir, how was it? He said, you were just ranting. Ah. Ah. Guy, I cried. That would that, actually break someone's that, confidence. That's so mean. My friends Jeez. were like, my friend, and you did not even tell me that. Calm down. Did she know him Go before? Go back. <laughs> <He'd be> like, <laughs> <laughs> calm down. Go back. Do you understand? Like, yeah. calm down. Do you want to retake this? Correction on the spots. Rather than yeah, no, constructive criticism is different from just you know I saw him the other day, I just looked at him like Talum, I beg. You know, that's that's why <laughs> that's why that's why teaching is not even just it. You need to learn so many things to become uh-huh. a lecturer. Exactly. That's what I keep on like, you need to know how no, to talk. So many people should not be teachers. I have not corrected my friends. It would not have hurt that way. Yeah. But it was yeah. correcting others. Mm. Why didn't you And then why did he single you out? It's just like you saying you your mom likes this child more, Please. and then no, you, you, it's, 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 I, I, I believe lecturers should also learn this. And I mean, it was really nice talking about this with you. It Let's was. go on a short break. We'll be right back.
Hello everyone, welcome back to Generation Unfiltered and we'll be talking about a very 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 sensitive topic which is about lecturers and students. So today we're going to be talking about sexuality among um, the lecturers and the students. Like, okay, this way let me ask you, okay. have you ever have um, had a lecturer that made sexual advances to you? No. Isha? No. I avoid them like I mean, avoid them like the plague. I've had maybe their assistants run up after me while I'm going to class in the morning to have my number. Hmm. Sure, but like nothing that I encourage, nothing that I allow. I don't, I don't wait after class. I sit down in places where I can't be distinct. Even if I know the answers, even if I know the answers in the class, I'm not raising up my hand. Thank you very much. So we we need to tread with cautiousness on this stuff because it is really sensitive. I agree. But then in a situation, let's just, okay, now let us try to imagine. Okay. If a lecturer perhaps walks up to you and makes sexual advancement towards you, how are you going to navigate through? Okay. For one, while I don't associate personally with lecturers that are directly over me, I do have maybe lecturers in other faculties or other departments that I have maybe familiar familiarity with. And while there are some that I cannot trust to have interpersonal relationships with, like yeah. there are some that I am familiar with. Okay. And luckily for me, my mother knows how to shout very well and she knows all the right people to call. So first thing I'm going to do is call my mother and then we will call the people who should I say are directly above these people because I can't I can't be comfortable in a situation where you know you have power over me yes and then you want something from me and I cannot give it to you obviously you're going to use the power you have over me to, to try to advantage. get what you want exactly yes. and it's something my mom experienced personally and from her experience I can tell it's, it's not a good place to be so as soon as I sense that something like that is happening I am taking whatever actions it's I can really, you know it's it. not everybody that has the power to call that's why I said I have the privilege. That's why I said that's why I acknowledge the privilege. So now, okay, coming coming from that, that angle, direction. what advice would you give to people that are in this kind of situation? Because okay, I am very sure that right now, as it is, there mm-hmm. are still students that go through yes. this kind of, of situation. So, in as much as I don't want us to be gender biased, mm-hmm. we also have ladies. Female so lecturers, called sugar mommies. <laughs> yes, there are, there are female lecturers to, that also do this kind of thing. Maybe you guys, or probably like they just see this guy like the the light guy and then cho- to- mm-hmm. torturing them with we extra have year wait, or something wait, wait, okay. lecturers marry students too why we also have why gay lecturers that? approaching harassing i won't say approaching harassing mm-hmm. their fellow um, male guys that mm-hmm. oh Alpha, if you don't come to my office i'm going to fail you I know a certain lecturer, a certain gay lecturer that is You know, let's be guided. I want to give you I want to give you I want to give you advice. What advice? I want to give you let's give you advice. Concerning the advice. A lecturer is threatening you with your grade. I want to give you I want to give you advice that you should probably not take to the market. You're taking it personal. I want to give you advice that you should probably not take to the market, but you should keep in mind. Okay. Document. Talk to as many talk to your friends. Have dates. Date these things. Yeah? Every interaction you have with that lecturer that is one on one that is not with everybody and their mommies that you can't go to with your HOC that they ask you to record, hmm. document every single interaction. Every time you feel unsafe, you document. If you can't, you take a picture. If you can't, you take a video. If you can't take a video, yeah, you record. So, that's very so if you want comments, what next? See, let when me you tell document, you there's definitely quarters in every there single is evidence. department. Evidence. Yes. Evidence. Wait, Ooh. evidence. Everybody has a happened. superior. Mm-hmm. Yes. What if the person is superior? They will have a superior. It's not possible. Yes, they Unless they are God. Let's just not even talk about the superior. What if having somebody the student is the kind is of superior. person that can't even like oh, really no, talk? No, wait, wait, wait. Kind you know, you know, no. Let's no, you have what, what, what coming from different let's, angles. Let's, 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 let's hear them out. The fact that okay. we are still in a university. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can actually walk up to anybody, probably in um, one post. I know, I know, I know that these people know each other. It's mm-hmm. okay. But when school wants to work, even yes. with anybody in this Nigeria, Papa she share, Mama she share. Work, exactly. If you can walk, if you know somebody that you can walk up to, like that is if you have the mind to actually go through with it. Mm-hmm. But if it is something that you know that, okay, now coming to school mm-hmm. as a, um, 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 a fresher. Wo- fresher, my mom will say, if any lecturer walks up to you, one, avoid them. That's sure. fine. But if any lecturer walks up to you, mm-hmm. that's just the thing. Like, I have a friend 
like literally literally called out to our ofi- called out to him, his office yeah. and was like oh the wajo could see me lesson <laughs> now <laughs> yeah me now can you she recorded everything you know, <laughs> that As even even uh, she has, she has recordings oh, wow. she evidence. sent it to me she has Recordings mm-hmm. that the guy was like, Kill on Shelly phone, and she was like, No, Mr. Sari send you consider the meaning. Can you go? And that conversation, she was still like, Ah, ah, oh my, you mean now, oh my, you mean now, can you cock in your corner? You know, you know, this just made me remember the BBC recording of the Unilag incident. Situation just made me go back, they feel like they're now doing too much, yeah. That they are now doing you know babuga to perfect you know people have ego especially men they have this uh, mafia eh? Mas- like I will still com- show you that I'm powerful so if, like. if 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 the person if you show the person like you're submissive like uh uh-uh, uh 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 I must allow them trap themselves can you come get allow them trap themselves and there's no how okay you said you had you have the privilege what if what about those that don't hmm. and the only I'm way a lecturer that. could even Come, you know, tell you to uh, come into his office that is sitting on you. Is because that come and sit on me and everything. It's because, because you you've timid. created that that, uh, avenue. Uh, that avenue for mm. it. And now that you have, definitely it is okay to play with the man. It's not like play, play or sit down with the man. No. Mm-hmm. But uh, just have hey, like the mm-hmm. now. Can you call, you call? You don't really, have to show yeah. them that Omar also. Mm. That's just the thing. You don't have to show them that yes, moleche, moleche. No, it's not like everybody that you want to. It's fine, it's okay. The girl literally took recordings. But you won't know, because everything, she was just like, Sir, she mama buying for ticket because she went home to cook for the man uh-huh. and brought the food. Yes! You know, she, I keep she she saying, you, know, yeah. yeah. you know, there are, there are trauma she, responses. No, you know, they said no, there's fight. It's not everybody that Strategy. has the privilege. We know fight or, or flight. Now, the man now feels like he's doing too much. Like, hmm. ah, that doesn't always work. Um, that doesn't so always that, work. That's why I want us to come from a different perspective. That's why I want to emphasize that there are different trauma responses. There's fight, flight, but there's fun that nobody talks about. Where you, 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 you act tender with whoever is in the position of power taking advantage of you and you get them comfortable so in that situation i said record like she said she share did. it to whoever you she can share it, it to me, oh, if you don't have the voice to do it oh, look for people to you. advocate okay your hocs and you you definitely are not well, the only victim Desiree, please i feel like before you can go ahead with dealing mm-hmm. with this man is when Yes, that's what I'm like, saying. No, 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 that's what I said the phone. There are like times, there are times that if you do not act on time, it will become something else. Exactly. That's what I and then they can't even turn it against you. Yeah. If it is a school that, okay, the lecturer decides, I know someone, I know a lot of people that have experienced this thing, because me personally, I don't I do not interact with lecturers. And I know somebody there. She was, she's in a five she was in a five hundred four hundred level and she did the uh, the uh, course well and the, she uh, the results came out with a zero. Ha. A zero. The mm. person she thought called her like ah babe, I had this babe, I had this and that and she had zero. Guy, she was very devastated. Okay, but she had recordings. That is when you will not show that. Eh, hey, but go check you. You want to do the video? Okay, okay. So you guys, to um, do thank you so very much for this. A lot to say. It has been really Let's insightful. Let's not forget that there are still lecturers out there. Good lecturers. Good, yes. yes. And we have the other ones that encourage this thing i have more, lecturers more, that more, in exam all oh, sorry guys sorry guys sorry guys sorry guys we have to go thank you so you very much lecturers? for being on the show we thought this was really insightful and i must say you guys did wonderfully well thank, thank you. you thank you to our listeners till we meet again bye, bye.